Okay. this past week to help her out I bought another one because I just couldn't see myself waiting to go through all this stuff to look for it and I don't open the dang on bag up I don't know who put it in the craft box oh my lord I probably did but I found it found it found the program 2017, a whole two years ago. Mama, can I find my name in there? Here you go, Mama. Gracias. De nada. So, anyway. Now I got two Gabrielles. Who do you want? taking a break and going home to their families and they're gonna finish tomorrow you're gonna have to see the grass in the next clip and as you see in the background the desk is the desk is in the boxes are not there anymore by the echo echoiness you'll know that we moved the stuff. There's still some boxes in here because my mama or me not moving those boxes. We're going to leave those to daddy for when he come home. Well, not come home, but. So we got everything in the dining room table. Dining room, I mean. Mama opening her computers and her stands so she can put them on her desk. <laughs> number five of Operation Beauty Shed and operations have come to a halt for two days. into washing the car so I guess I better get back to work see y'all in the next clip Got to um put my mascara on. 
but a real girl keeps mascara in her purse or in her car somewhere. So thankfully, I did have something to put on. But anyway, I am going to go to the mall. Um, We're done washing the cars. They look all good. We thought it was going to rain. It's 20% chance of rain today, but it really looked like rain when we were... um. Dirty. When we were washing the car, um, it looked like rain for real, for real. But the sun has broke through. But tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll get a nice, good rain. Um, and that way, the side will get nice and get some of God's watering. But anyway, so, I am off. I'm getting ready to um get ready for next week. Next week, I graduate. Um, and I'm super excited about that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to y'all and sit up here and tell y'all that I didn't, uh, think about not walking again. Um, after all, I am. I'm 32. I think I'm 32. Yeah, I'm 32. I'll be 33 this year, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 33 because Jessica just turned 33. Okay. I'm 33 and, you know, I already graduated two years ago. So I'm like, am I doing the most? But I am so happy with what I've accomplished and the time that I've accomplished it with all things considered, with homeschooling full time, with working on this dang on house full time, um, schooling full time, you know, um, I'm about to, uh, I just formulated a business that I'll tell y'all about later that I'll be working on that full time. So I'm doing all of this stuff at the same time and I am so proud and I'm so happy. So for me to go, um, walk again would be for me to just be like, you did that. Like, thank you. This is a milestone. Let's say it like that. I am done with school for a while. I do not know when I'm going to be starting graduate school. It's not no time soon. Probably once all of this uh, real estate investing gets um, more automated for me, um, then I can think about going to school because I do love school and I love learning. So my degree is in supervision and management. So I am. I can run your business. I can um, supervise your business. Um, so... I want to uh, probably, if I go to graduate school, I want to uh, concentrate more on entrepreneurship, which I've learned a lot in the last five years um, with actually doing it and also from school. So anyway, I'm super excited about that. And that's why I decided to go ahead and follow through, even though I thought time and time again about not doing it. Um, We're going to do it. Anyway, y'all get to come with me um, to the mall and see what, you know, what I'm going to find or not find. Hopefully I find something because I want to be done with this today um, and pack my, ba my bags this weekend. Um, and also, y'all will get to see Jemaya and Josiah and James pop in. They took... Um, they are on their own adventure today. I get to have me some mommy alone time. Yay. So um, I get to have me some Brit time. Let's call it that because I'm not a mommy right now. I'm, I'm Brit. So I'm ready. I'm ready to go do this. And let's go. What's up, y'all? What's up? Josiah, say what's up? What's up? Hey, look. We back with another video. What's up, y'all? We back with another video. We sort of run some errands. As you see, I'm in the front seat because mommy's not here today. She's doing her own little thing. Having her some me time. Some her time. Whatever. <laughs> but we about to... What we about to do, Daddy? About to go pick up Pam Pam. Pam Pam. And help her run some errands. Errands. And then and that's about it. And then we're going to meet back up with mommy. Then we're going to meet back up. And we gotta go to Lowe's and get some more stuff for the shed. Yeah! That's it? Um, I think so for right now. Okay. We're gonna take y'all with us. We finna jam out. And we'll see y'all in the next 
here for it to be a Friday but anyway I am out and I am glad I did find something I found a shirt for my skirt I already bought for my graduation ceremony and I found an outfit an outfit for my barbecue so I'm very pleased happy for that I didn't think about showing y'all the different choices I had until I was walking out of the mall and I was like, dang it. And I was this close to going back in and showing y'all the different um outfits. Because I only went in like three stores. So I was like, I can go show them. And I was like, girl, she hungry. And I don't know what time it is, but I'm so hungry. Anyway, now I'm going to go find me something to eat every time I have a date. To myself and uh, some Brit Brit time I'll go get me something real banging to eat and last time I went to I think the place called Stony River Steakhouse right here next to the mall in Cumberland in Cumberland but since I'm in Cumberland oh I think I'm gonna go to Papa Do and I'm by myself too I was this close to feeling bad about eating this by myself without my family, but I called them and they ain't answered the phone. So the girl didn't eat. So I got my purple voodoo. I've never had this yet. I haven't had this yet. I used to get the what's it called? Strawberry mango tango. And it's good. It's alright. I'm glad they make it too strong because I had to grind and I'm about to go. I would have been sitting here until it come down. But anyway, that's my lunch. Alright y'all, this is my lunch. This is the Costa Mardi Gras from my um, Papa Do. As you can see, I am done with this drink. My food looks amazing. I'm ready to kill it with this water over here. And I'll see y'all in the next clip when I'm leaving out of here. Just thank you. Papa don't know, own me nothing. That food was so good. Then I get out here and I see people done kick their shoes off. Listen, Papa don't own us nothing, baby. I ain't leaving my shoes though. We just got out of Walmart. We got some few things. We had some good time with Pam Pam. Didn't we, Daddy? Yep, we did. And Mommy's already home, so we heading to the house. I got me a feather. I actually have two. But I'll show y'all a, a mini haul when we get home. But yeah. So, we had a a good first half of the day today. Uh, we had to take my mom to the store. She wanted to get out of the, the rehab center that she's in so she could do her physical therapy on her legs so she could feel better. Um, she's getting better with walking and stuff she still got to take breaks every now and then but i think she was the drilling in of being out and seeing other people and shopping kind of just gave her a real great feeling we had a great time she got time to spend with her grandkids so um 
yeah, now we stuck in this traffic, this rush hour traffic. It's really not that bad. It's moving all right. But I just want to give a shout out to Maya. She did an excellent job helping her grandmother today. You know, um, just helping her pay for things and, you know, helping her read stuff or whatever she needed help with. She was willing to do it. And she did it patiently. She did it lovingly. And it just, it was just, I have to honor it because, you know, sometimes as parents, we always telling our kids the same thing over and over and over again. And when you actually get to see them do what you're trying to instill in them, it's just a blessing. So I just wanted to shout out to her. She got her glasses on right now. She thinks she's cool. Josiah back there being Josiah. Playing with his tablet. But uh, we got, we was able to get her some, some fans and some, some chairs that she said she wanted. Um, she just really wanted a break from the rehab center, so we took her back to her apartment so she could just relax and have some serenity for a little minute. So that's cool, and I'll go back later to go pick her up and take her back to the rehab. Um, other than that, we're about to go back home and meet back up. With, with the queen. I know she probably got a list for us to do or want to do. So hopefully she taking a nap or just enjoying her time by herself. We all need some time to ourselves sometimes just to recalibrate, get ourselves together so we can be able to intertwine with other people or whatnot. But I think I'm talking too much now. I'm not too much of a big talker. That's why you always see the queen doing all the vlogs. And I just say something here and there. So, this is a lot for me to actually be the main interest of the vlog this time. Me and the kids. So, y'all bear with me with all this chit chatter. But, um, I really don't have any plans other than today. I know we still got to go to Lowe's today. To get the wood for the for the shed to do the floor of the shed, so we got to do that. And I think that's it. And I know we're still getting prepared for this trip we got next week. The queen is going to be graduating from college with her bachelor's degree. So we need to go do that and. I think everybody's prepared. I think everybody got everything that we need. Um, so that's it. Now all we doing is just waiting for the day to come to go travel to where we gotta go. I'm feeling kind of sleepy. I guess because I ain't ate nothing today yet. That's my fault though. But um, I'll eat something when I get to the house. Um, so I'm going to end the blog here before I start yawning on y'all like I just did. And my, um, I got a disease, which is traffic. And I don't know what kind of, uh, antidote to take to get rid of it, to cure it. So I'm really trying to be patient. And I know a lot of y'all probably saying, well, why you move? Why you move to Georgia if you ain't like traffic? Well, he didn't know about it. I knew about it, but I just love the city so much. I just, some stuff you just got to deal with. So I'm dealing with it, enjoying it. I try not to have road rage, but some people just be driving real stupid sometimes. But I'm pretty sure other people say that about me too. He'd be like, what are you doing? Yeah, I do be saying that. Get over. What are you doing? But it's all good, though. On that phone. Uphill left. That's what the most of them be doing. Even though they don't pass the law where you can't have your phone in your hand while you're driving, people still do it. They hard-headed. And, I mean, I'm guilty of it at times, too. But you don't be realizing how slow you be driving when you looking at your phone and you trying to drive so just but at least they drive is slow at least they're trying to stay safe yeah but you don't need to be doing 30 miles an hour on the highway 
because you're looking at your phone. But it's all good, though. So I'm going to sign off. Holla at y'all. Peace. Hey! I have taken a nap. I'm waking up. Um, James and the kids got home and took a nap as well. And look in the hole. <laughs> But James and the kids came and they took a nap too. Um, and James and I got up from our nap, had to um, take care of a little bit of business. So my nap was cut kind of short, but it was okay. My rest was sufficient for what I, I needed to do after that. So James and I had some good conversation just talking about goals and mentality and the importance of mentality um and what we are doing you know what i'm saying and just trying to build for our children and our children's children and stuff like that and after that we went outside and we just finished putting the handles and the supports on the storage door yes y'all a whole week later and we still working on this dang on storage but Good thing is tomorrow all we got to do is put the doors on, which is fabulous because it's supposed to rain tomorrow, which our grass needs. Um, so that's good. But anyway, I just wanted to come back on and end the vlog before I go to sleep. I'm hella tired, um, but that's a good thing. We were very productive today. We accomplished what we set out to do and also some of the things that we didn't set out, out to do. We got that stuff done too. So, anyway, I am going to end the vlog here. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful and, Sunday. Uh, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.